Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve these given logarithmic problems as you can see over here and we'll be using two different methods and moreover, I will show you a golden rule that will save you a lot of hassle. So let's go ahead and get started. And here I have just copied down the left hand side and now we are going to find the value of this log. First of all, let's focus on this 4 over here. And 4 could be written as 2 power 2 in terms of exponents. And now let's focus on this base 8. And it could be written as 8 equals to 2 power 3. So thus I can rewrite this log as log of 2 power 2 with the base 2 power 3. And now we can see in this log 1 on the book exponent is 2 and here our exponent is 3. Just keep in your mind. And here's our golden rule that we will be applying on this problem. So this states that Whenever we have this exponent and this exponent, we are going to drag them outside. So 2 is going to come on the top of the fraction and this 3 is going to go to the bottom of this fraction. So this would simply become 2 over 3 times log of 2 with the base since we already dragged these exponents outside. And here's one more very crucial logarithmic rule. When we have a, our argument and our base is same, that will always going to be equal to 1. So that means since our base and argument is same, that is going to be equal to 1. So thus this could be written as 2 over 3 and the value of this one is 1. That means our answer turns out to be 2 third. Thus our answer turns out to be 2 third. And here's our next problem. And here I have just copied it down and now we are going to find the value of this one by using the golden rule. Now let's focus on this base 1 eighth. So this could be written as log of 8 with the base 8 power negative 1 as you can see from here and 8 could be written as 8 power 1. Now we can see we got a two exponents. One on the top is 1 and the other one is negative 1. And here's the golden rule once again that we will be using. That means this 1 is going to go to the front we're going to drag it and it's going to show up on the top and this negative one is going to drag and show up at the bottom of this fraction so we got one over negative one outside log of eight with the base eight and according to this identity rule since log these numbers are same so this is going to be equal to 1. So we know that this outside 1 over negative 1 is simply negative 1 and this is 1 times 1. If we multiply them we are going to get negative 1 as our answer. So thus our answer turns out to be negative 1. Now let me go ahead and show you a second method on this problem. And here I have just copied it down and let me go ahead and set this one equal to x. We don't know the value of this one so I'm going to call x and we will find the value of x. Now we can see that this is in a logarithmic form and we want to convert it into exponential form because that's going to be easier to deal with. And here's the rule that we're going to be applying to convert it into a exponential form. So this could be converted into 8 power x equal to 4. Now let's focus on this 8 the base and 8 could be written as 2 power 3. So I can write this one 2 power 3 and then power x equal to now let's focus on 4 
and 4 could be written as 2 power 2 so I can write this one as a 2 power 2 and on the left hand side now we are going to apply this power rule so this could be written as 2 power 3 x equal to 2 power 2 now as we can see that our bases on the both hand sides are same as long as bases are same we can equate their exponents so that means we can write our exponent 3x equal to 2 that means x turns out to be 2 over 3 value so thus our value turns out to be 2 third and here's our next problem let's start working on it and here I have just copied it down and let me set it equal to x and this way we are going to find the value of x and we know that this is in a logarithmic form and we want to convert into a, an exponential form and here's the rule that we're going to be applying to convert it into exponential form so let's go ahead and do that one so this will be converted into 1 over 8 power x equal to 8 now let's focus on this base 1 8th and we can write 1 8th as 8 power negative 1 so the left hand side this could be written as 8 power negative 1 and then power x equals to 8 and here on the left hand side we are going to apply this power rule so this could be written as 8 power negative 1 times x equal to 8 and 8 could be written as 8 power 1 so this on the top could be written as 8 power negative x equal to 8 power 1 and we can see that our bases on the both hand side are same that means we can equate their exponents as well so thus we can write negative x equal to 1 or if we switch the sign so x is going to be equal to negative 1 and that's our answer so thus our answer turns out to be negative 1 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye